You know, I was college, and he didn't have enough money. No, nah, for... why they do him like that on that picture, though? Books. So, he had to take pictures of them with his phone. One... What's up, YouTube? We back with another video, and today I will be reacting to The Secret Genius and AMP. Now, on the cover, I haven't watched it, but on the cover, it highlights Phantom. So, let's see what they got to say. I don't know if it's about Phantom, but it's about somebody. But on the cover, it show Phantom. So, let's see what they talking about don't forget to like comment and subscribe watch it to the end it's not gonna be a long video i know i've been doing long videos i've been doing long videos because i've been talking and pausing and talking and pausing but this is five minutes so hopefully we don't do that but about 10 minutes on it so like i said don't forget to like comment and subscribe and watch it watch until the end i'm trying to talk fast watch it till the end to hear about the giveaway so let's get to the video People commonly think Agent is the smartest. He has several channels with millions of subs. He's gotten the AMP house and is known for being the big businessman, like businessman. I understand why, but it's not him. It's fan. All right, he doesn't always do the smartest things. What is that? Oh, nah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> But he started something that's currently competing with the biggest streamers and YouTubers today. He's connected. Yeah, because from what I heard, Kai, I mean, Phantom, I think, was the first one that Kai met. I think that's what he said in that um interview. So let's see what they're talking about. Connected with and guided top creators today far before they even blew up. His intuition and willing to help is like no other. To truly understand his genius, you need to go back to where it all started. 2013, Bronx, New York. He was into Call of Duty and was watching a YouTuber named White Boy 7 Street. He thought he had to be just like him to make good videos. It took a bit for him to understand he needed to be himself. Oh, I'm to die, man. Did you really? I'm to die, man. A couple years later, he was able to get 3,000 subs. He's in college now and doesn't like it at all. But his mom has forced him to go. He went on with college and he didn't have enough money. No, for why they do him like that on that picture, though? books so he had to take pictures of them with his phone one day Bannon was on the train he was walking out wait they said he didn't have one. like it at all but his mom has forced him to go he went on with college and he didn't have enough money for books so he had to take pictures of them with his phone one day Bannon was on the train he was walking mm -hmm. hold on nah oh oh because that that's not bad i wouldn't even thought about that if i would have went to college i, that, I promise i wouldn't i probably would have but I don't know. That's not bad. Because I used to be in school. I probably would have because I used to be in school and I used to take a picture. I mean, I take a picture. I used to look up the assignments and then they had a whole, uh, the whole cheat sheet online and I used to do that. So I probably would have did some smart stuff like that, but. Mm. You know, and then. This picture is getting me, man. He dropped oh, his phone. It. If he didn't get this fixed, he would fail all of his classes. He went out to see what he needed to get it fixed. He found a place and they said it would be $80 to fix it. He didn't have this. Wait, hold on. How did they know this? He must have did a story time or something. They going deep in his college life. I didn't even know Fennel went to college. That's what's crazy. Kind of money. So he had to go to his family and no one had it either. He was stuck and was thinking about what he could do. He was doing YouTube on the side and was able to get 10K subs. Four days went past and he had to make a decision. Try this YouTube shit all the way. Let me just fuck it, my nigga. He went in and did everything he could with what he had, but money was still an issue. He didn't have enough for equipment. So he came up with a plan. He's gonna sell jewelry and fake clothes. This worked, and over time, he was able to get enough money for all his equipment. Now he's ready to grind out 2K videos. He started to grow bigger and bigger and was able to make $2,000, and that turned into $5,000, then $7,000. He showed his mom, and she didn't care. He told me about this school. This didn't stop him, and after a couple years, he got $365 thousand subs but there's a big problem 2k was getting boring and the game kept getting worse and worse and he tried to hold out as long as he could but he completely stopped oh at 2k 19. he wanted to switch to irl content but making a switch like this can kill your career Bandum loved vlogging and telling stories so he had to try regardless of the outcome so he made a new channel on march 5th 2019 he posted a video about New York slang and it popped off. He kept making videos and they gradually got better. He eventually passed his gaming channel and subscribers. Then on September 27, 2020, he hit 1 million subscribers. 
Ben Drive is amazing. There's an important factor that helped him achieve this. His friends. Phantom knew most of AMP way before they blew up. How did this happen? It's rare to find someone years before their success and Phantom did it three times. Was it intentional or by accident? Yeah, he did find Kai. I remember. I mean, he didn't find, like, find him. Like, I don't think he, like, made Kai blow up, but I did hear Kai say that he was the first one that he made. When I first started, I uploaded a, um, a, um, My Pocket Real Life video. This was years ago. Years, two, two, 20, 2017. Oh. Bruh, I had 3K subscribers, bro. I uploaded a video, Phantom commented, Phantom hit me up, me and him was in a party the next day, a PlayStation party. He telling me like, hey, I like that, what you doing, that's different, that's new, keep doing it. All right, Davis, he was Elite Buckets 32, that was his PSN, right? You showing mad love to me, bro. No, he a W man's for remember his old name, bro. That's crazy. And I was like, yo, bro, come on, pull up, what's up, bro? He had like 10 subscribers or some shit, bro. Like, the nigga that had no subs. And then he changed his name to I'm Davis, and then we started working, like, since he was, like, nothing, like, so we met really, really, really early on before he even was I'm Davis. Right? Phantom, Phantom had hit me up when I wasn't even lit yet. I think I would just know from my skits. This is how crazy, it's how tough he is. Bro, everything he has told me worked. It was intentional. We searched and found people with the potential to blow up. Everybody was mad, small and shit. I was always, like, the nigga trying to, like, like, Playmaker, like we gonna do this. Alright, come on, you do this, do this for me, shit like that. Of course. But it doesn't stop there. He brought them together and made AMP. Wait, it actually wasn't that simple. The idea of a group coming together was from Agent. Agent wanted to start a group and got Phantom, Davis, Duke, and some other YouTubers in on it. As the group started, a few members rethought their decisions and left. Just before the group disbanded, Phantom, I don't know, as the group started, Duke, because Duke is still in the group. I don't know who that is, but. Like the one with the headphones, but Duke, they put Duke down. A few members we thought their decisions and left. Just before the group disbanded, Phantom came up with the group name AMP. A few months passed and they started the group back up again with Phantom, Davis, Agent, and Duke. On January 24th, 2020, they made the AMP channel and their first video was terrible. They needed a new video editor. So they got Chris next door. They knew Chris was somewhat good because he edited for Soul Illuminati. Chris got his hands on the video and made it amazing. This I did not know that. I did not know Chris get edit like that. Well, of course they get it. They they do YouTube, but I didn't know like he he uh edited for the other dude. Kills gave everyone hope that this would work. I need some good music. Later that year, Chris and Kai joined AMP. All of Phantom's achievements and strategies are great, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter who's the smartest. What matters is that there's a group currently taking over, showing everyone that if you want to yeah. be in a better position in life, you need to get it any means possible doesn't matter how you feel or what wow. people say time doesn't stop for anyone you've got to make something shake yeah grind oh the seven minutes here and i might as well react to this one too nah i might wait because i don't want to make this longer than it have to be so don't forget to like comment and subscribe get me to 500 subscribers and i'm gonna do a giveaway and as my subscribers go up, as I always say, the giveaway gonna go up. So, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And until the next reaction, I love y'all. I'm out.